Hey everyone, good morning. I am Priyanshi Agdwal and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now we are going to see the second question of today's read code weekly contest 450, which is minimum swaps to sort by digit sum. Okay, so let's see what is this question and how we can solve it. So in this question, you are given an array nums of distinct positive integers. You need to sort the array in increasing order based on the sum of digits of each number. If two numbers have the same digit sum, the smaller number appears first in the sorted order. Okay, cool. Return the minimum number of swaps required to rearrange nums into the sorted order. Okay, and a swap is defined as exchanging the values at two distinct pos positions in the array. Okay, so in this question, what you have been given is that you are given an array nums with distinct positive numbers and you need to sort the array in according to the digit sum and if the digit two digit two numbers have same digit sum the smaller number appears first in the sorted order and you need to return the minimum number of swaps required to rearrange nums into the sorted order okay so let's see so let's see in this example let's calculate the digit sum of all these numbers 7 plus 3 10 1 plus 0 plus 1 1 so you need to sort the according to these digit sums Okay, so 100 ha has less digit sum, so 100 will come first, then 37. So this will be your final sorted list. And as you need only one swap to sort this list, so your answer will be 1. Okay, so let's take another example. Let's see. So this is, it's, digit sum is 4, it's 5, 6, and 7. So you see, it's already sorted. So it means you don't need any swaps to sort this array. So that's why its output is 0. Okay, now let's take this example as well. 18, 43, 34, 16. Okay, 18, 43, 34, 16. Cool. Now let's calculate their digit sums. It's mm. 9, 7, 7 and 7. Oh, all these digit sums are same. Okay, so then what you need to do? You need to sort according to their values. Okay, so among 43, 34 and 16, which is lesser? 16. Now 34 and then 43. Now 18, which has highest digit sum. Okay, so this was your nums and this was this is your final sorted list, which is let's say V. Okay, so now for these two lists, you need to find the number of swaps you needed to sort this list okay so how we can get it okay so let's see so let's first index these elements let's say 0 1 2 and 3 okay so let's see this was initially at 0 18 was initially at 0 and the new index of 18 is 3 okay cool 43 was initially at 1 and new index is 2 okay 34 was initially at 2 new index is 1 Okay, 16 was initially at 3. New index is 0. Okay. Okay. So, can we see something from here? Okay, let's see. So, what you can do? You can simply start iterating in uh, or array matlab, in, in the size of this nums. Let's say 0, 1, 2 and 3. And you will also create a visited vector. Let's see. This 0, 1, 2 and 3. Initially, no digits or no indexes are visited okay so let's say you will visit this index and you will mark it as visited okay now what you need to do you need to check initially 18 was at 0 now it is at 3 okay so it, let's say if you will in, initialize some variable cycle then you will increment it okay now from 3 to 0 the element which was initially at 3 now it is at 0 now you will again increment your cycle variable okay and mark 3 as visited now again let's check for 0 oh 0 is already visited so you don't need to do anything okay so here you have also initialized one result variable which in which you will just add cycle minus 1 why let me tell you how so let's say if you have uh, if you have something like this let's say 12 13 and 11 Let's see you have some vector like this with indexes 0, 1 and 2. Okay. And their digit sums are 3, 4 and 2. 
right so let's say if i will sort them according to their digit sums then what will be the answer first two and then this three and then this four right this will be going to be our answer okay so in this what we are doing the element which was initially at zero now is at one okay the element which was initially at one is now at two okay the element which was initially at two is now at zero okay so here also we can see that if in as we have initialized the psyche variable so if the element which was at zero now is at one so increment it and mark zero as visited the element which was at one now at two so increment it mark one as visited the element which was at two is now at zero increment it mark two as visited now let's check for zero zero is already visited so we will not do anything okay but how we will get to know that we have to add psyche minus one in our answer see here from here as well what you need to do you need to swap this 11 with this 13 right then what it will become 11 13 right this is one swap and then in another swap what you need to do you need to swap this 11 with 12 right then it will become 11 12 13 right this is the second swap right so it means in two swaps we have sorted this array according to the digit sum and from this psyche minus one also you can see that here was three swaps it means three cycles were there and cycle minus one is two it means total two swaps are needed to sort this array i hope you get this thing like we will keep track of the index at which that element was initially and then the new index the element is at and then we will check how many cycles are there and we will simply add cycle minus one in our answer okay now let's conti continue this uh, test case so uh, your cycle is 2 right now okay so you will add psyche minus 1 which is 1 so now your result is 1 okay now again you will come at 1 mark it as wasted okay now again your psyche was initially at 0 now the element which was at 1 is initially now at 2 okay so you will increment your cycle now you will check for 2 Ma is it visited no you will mark it as visited okay now the element which was at 2 is now at 1 okay so what you will do you will increment your cycle now we will check for 1 oh 1 is already visited you don't need to do anything you will add psyche minus 1 in your answer which is 2 minus 1 which is 1 so your final result will become 2 and you have because you have already visited all the indexes of your vector let's check the answer yeah its output is 2 okay so i hope you get it what we are trying to do here we are trying to keep the track of indexes of the elements like uh, before sorting and after sorting and we will keep calculating the cycles and we will simply add cycle minus one in our result because as you can see from here like uh, cycle minus one is going to be the number of swaps needed to sort that those elements okay but now let's say how i we will code this like how we will keep the track of these indexes okay so what you can do you can simply store these nums in the map to keep their track of their indexes so that you will be simply able to access let's say if you want to access the initial index of 16 so you will be simply able to access it with map of 16 if you have stored these if you have stored their indexes in the map okay let's see its code so that you will get a better understanding okay so this is the minimum swaps so here we have initialized a vector v nums now we will sort it according to their digit sum okay so let me also explain you like how to calculate the digit sum of a number so let's say if you have digit 1 2 and 3 so how you will calculate it let's see your digit n is equals to 1 2 3 your sum is 0 so you will calculate it with sum is equals to n modulo sorry sum plus is equals to n modulo 10 which will basically give this last digit of your number okay so what it will become 3 right and your n will get decremented to n by 10 which will be these two digits right so now your n is 12 okay now again you will run this loop and n modulo 10 will be now 2 
plus 2 n will become n by 10 which is 1 now you will again run this loop so 1 modulo 10 will be 1 and 1 by 10 will be 0 right so you will run this loop till n is greater than 0 now you have got your sum as 6 right same here in the code sum plus is equals to n modulo 10 and n by 10 n is equals to n by 10 so you will basically sort this this vector according to the digit sum and if the digit sum is equal then you will sort it according to their values itself and then you will keep track of the indexes of the original vector and then you will create a visited vector and then keep iterating on the vector for all the indexes so if it is visited all the value at a particular index is equal in the sorted vector and in the initial vector then obviously we don't need to change that element so we will simply continue it otherwise we will calculate the cycle size if it is not visited but till the time it is not visited we will mark it as visited and we will get the index for which that element was initially present so in this way we will be able to calculate our cycle size and if our cycle size is greater than one then we will simply add that psi k size minus 1 in our result. So this will give you the total the minimum number of steps you need to sort this array according to their digit sum. Okay. So now let's talk about its time and space complexity. So as you can see we are sorting this array and then iterating on these things. So its overall time complexity will be n log n. Right plus something n and n, n because we are do also doing iterations but its overall complexity will be n log n because sorting complexity is higher and this space complexity will also be big o of n as we are using that uh, as we are using this b vector which will also take n and we are using this map which will also take n so its complexity will be 2n space complexity but yeah we can say it as n so yeah, this was all for this question. I hope you get it. But if you still have any doubts, then you can post in the comment section. I will surely try to answer them. Till then, bye guys. See you in the next video.